All right, so here's the new rack um, between Napa, O'Reilly's, CarQuest, and AutoZone. AutoZone was the least expensive, and this has a lifetime warranty. Um, first thing to do is get it centered before we install it in the car, meaning the inner tie rods are out equally on each side. And to do that, you grab a wrench and rotate this all the way to the left and then till it stops and then make a mark and then count how many revolutions it takes to go all the way to the right and stop and for this rack it was exactly three revolutions so just divide that by two which is one and a half so turn it all the way to the right till it stops then rotate it back uh, one and a half revolutions and then now it's centered and then here's the new tie rods I'm gonna put on a uh, the rack didn't come with lock nuts, so I gotta go get some new one of those from like Ace Hardware. Here's the uh, sway bar. I cleaned it up and painted it silver so it can give it some horsepower. And then figured I'd get some of those uh, polyurethane bushings from Energy Suspension. Those were 10 bucks off eBay, so that should help the car uh, stiffen up a little bit. Alright, so now we're gonna put the rack back in the way we take it out. Just slide it in this channel just nice and slow. I might have to get under the car to help slide it in on the other end. Alright so I started threading in the mounting bolts and I only did it about halfway that way the rack has some play and that'll give me some room to move it around up top and to get the power steering lines back in it. So once we get those uh, just started then we can come back down and tighten these up the rest of the way. Alright so got the two lines tightened and you don't need to tighten those very much you just need to snug them up. The instructions that came with the rack said no more than 15 foot pounds but since you can't get a torque wrench on there, I just kind of did it by hand. I did it about as tight as I do my uh, oil pan plug. I mean, it's like it's tight, but it's not way tight. It's just medium tight. And just make sure there's one side is threaded and the other one isn't. Make sure you have the threaded side down so the head of the bolt faces up. So you can actually tighten it. There, just like that. Then take the bolt. So that's attached. So we're done in here. Next is to put back on the sway bar. So we're gonna feed it into the same side that I uh, took it out and mount it with the two brackets and the four bolts. All right, so the sway bar is installed with the new polyurethane bushings. Now it's time to put in the sway bar end links. Now right, here's the uh, end links I got. I got these off eBay. Uh, I think they're like 10 bucks a piece versus like AutoZone who was the cheapest local supplier that wanted like 25 a piece. And where these are like, there's not a whole lot to them. I trust an eBay one and they seem like they're okay but it'll be a good uh, guinea pig test on my Eclipse. If these fail, you will see me make a video of it. If I don't have a video of these failing, then they're still holding up. Okay, so this is the way I like to tighten these and put a, got a, one of those multi Allen wrench tools. And put that in the Allen wrench holder and I, I like to use the, the ratcheting wrenches. And then as you tighten it, the 
everything will seat together nice and tight. Cool. Alright, that is it. It is finished finally. Now it's just put the, uh, just gotta put the under chassis parts back in, tighten them up, then it's good to go. Put the wheels on and let's drive it. And that's how you change a rack and pinion. Um, email me or leave comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.